Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always we're joined by top barbecue chef Mr Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this uh, video we are going to be doing a flourless chocolate cake. We are. Good day to be doing videos today. Really good day for doing videos. And for this barbecue uh, cook we're going to be using a Traeger Timberline 850. So Richard, flourless chocolate cake. Flourless chocolate cake. Um, we're going to start, it's basically a classic um, chocolate cake but with a twist because we're going to leave the flour out and our raising agent is going to come from separating our eggs and whisking the egg whites. Um, so we've got our butter and our golden caster sugar. These are going to go into the dish and get whisked with the electric beaters until they're nice and light and fluffy and creamy. Then we're going to add in our egg yolks, fold in our ground almonds, um, and then at that stage, we'll put the fresh clean beaters in and we'll do the egg whites. We'll get those nice and light and fluffy, and then we'll incorporate those in with the chocolate, the cocoa, and some baking powder. So in we're going to go with... Our first set of ingredients are sugar and butter. Um, it's important to have your butter at room temperature, but not soft, not, not too soft because you just want it to um, incorporate the sugar really quickly, but you also want it to hold so that it can incorporate some air into the butter as well. So there's no other way to do this apart from with an electric. You can use it with a stand mix. We're just gonna make a start here. So now we have that nicely creamed together. Uh, we're gonna start adding our egg yolks. We'll add one or two, depending on how they come out of here. There we go, at a time. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'll just grab this. Rest of the egg yolks go in. Yeah, I'll give you that. Thank you. Right, so we are done with those for now. Just Keep them somewhere handy just in case. Okay. Then we're going to add in our ground almonds. So while this is gluten free, it's not milk free. So if you have other allergies, just obviously check out the ingredients. Just gonna mix those together. Let's just pop that there so I don't knock it off. And then what we can do, so that's come together <clears throat> in almost like a bit of a paste at the moment. So into there we're going to add our molten, war liquid, well, melty chocolate. You don't want it too hot because it will just make everything else run. There we go. Save that for later, maybe. I was just thinking that. <laughs> And this is now smelling amazing. So you can see there we've got, oh, nice, rich, chocolatey mixture with the texture there from the almonds as well. So now that we've got that, let's bring our egg whites over to the party. Does that smell all right? Yeah, it smells good. Is that passing so far? All right. Make sure that when you're whisking egg whites that your bowl is nice and clean and that your beaters are nice and clean as well. Is that going to stay down there? Yep. Also make sure that your egg whites are at room temperature because they will work better. So part way through, once you've got your egg whites somewhat fluffy. We're just going to add a little pinch of sea salt. So once you get them to that kind of consistency, we're good to go. 
<clears throat> I'm not going to suggest. I always see them do this on the TV, and I'm not going to do it to either myself weird. or you. No. So, I'm just going to... Here we go. It can be tempting to knock these off on the side of the bowl, but if you do that, you'll pop a load of air bubbles in the mixture. So that's that. Right, that dish can go to one side. So what we do now is we take our cocoa powder and we take a teaspoon of baking powder and we just sieve these in. Sorry, just getting you there with a bit of dust. There we go. And then what you can do is just take a little bit of the mixture and just, just a little bit of the mixture and you can be quite firm with this. You just want to loosen the, uh, the chocolate almond mix so that the rest of the mixture is, goes in easier. Then what we do is we take, we're going to take a good half of our whisked egg whites. And this is where we just go a little bit softer. We don't want to knock the air out, but we also don't want to faff and tickle the mixture. We need to get this incorporated. Uh, use a silicon spatula rather than a wooden spoon because the wooden spoon will tear the bubbles as you're folding it in. Get it almost fully incorporated and then add in the rest of your egg whites. Try not to leave any mixture in the bowl. There's just something about the baking process. I love it. And then, bring it all together one last time. You'll see that I've turned the bowl as I've been whisking it with the electric whisk and continuing as I use the, wooden, uh, the silicon spatula. You don't want to have any little pockets around the outside that have got mixture that isn't fully incorporated. So just work all the way around. This is lightened in colour now. Make sure that you fold underneath as well. Then we come to our pre-lined 9 inch cake tin. We've got strips around the outside just with little tags that have folded down on the bottom and then we've got a, a disc in the centre so we're nice and fully lined there. And then we take our mixture, coax it out. That already looks, if you're a cake making fanatic, then this just looks good enough to eat as it is, but obviously we don't recommend that. There we go. And then just spread that, coax that into the corners, leveling as you go. We got a spoon under there that I can just use to clean. Maybe the one that's got the chocolate on it, or it's going to have to be that one. It's going to have to be that one. What a shame! More chocolate going in. I'll just make sure that this all goes in. Oops. Sorry. Right. So that is ready for the barbecue. Oops. There we go. Perfect. So we've got the barbecue set up for 180. Yep. Nicely leveled. Over to the barbecue we go. Now this one has, with it being a spring form, this one has a little bit of a recess underneath. So the bottom of the tray is not going to sit directly onto the grills in the, on, the, on the rails on the, of the uh, cooking grate. So we can actually put this straight onto the shelf in the barbecue. We're going to leave that in there for about 40 minutes. We'll come back and check it with a, a skewer. Well, or what we should say as well at this stage, that even though we're using the Traeger today, yes. you can cook any of the recipes of the cake. Oh, yeah. so we do them across all the different barbecues. Yeah, gas, charcoal, pellets, all the same. This is a roasting, baking setup, so on the, on, the, um, on the Weber's and the other brands that we have here, you talk about indirect heat, whereas on the Traeger it's generally all an indirect heat. So yeah, any recipes that we do on the, on the Traeger today, you can do on any of the other barbecues that you may have. Uh, but yeah, we'll come back in about 30, 40 minutes and we'll just check that with the tip of a pair of knife or cocktail stick or something like that. And once that stick runs clear, then we'll, we know that we're baked and we can remove it from the barbecue. So let's check on our chocolate cake. Let's have a look. Little skewer. 
to the center of the cake nice and clean. So let's have the mitts. This has risen. Pop that down. Beautifully. There we go. Smells fab with the chocolate. Yep. Ha ha. Pop it over it. If it's hot. Yes. And then take these little bits off. That's quite a good looking cake, given that it's got no flour. Not that flourless cake shouldn't look good, but um, let's cut a wedge. Normally you'd let this cool, but we're just going to, let's take a nice sizable wedge. If you're, going to, cake. if you're going to have cake, have cake. Just need to get in underneath or above the parchment that's underneath there. Look at that. Really happy with that. <laughs> that has got really nice rise. Normally, yeah, if I was at home, I'd let that cool in the tin maybe and just leave it because there is a little bit of steam coming out here. So with this one, if we were, to, this isn't going to last. It's going to get devoured by everybody behind the cameras. But um, if this was at home, I'd leave that in the piece to, um, to cool so that the moisture stays inside the cake and then it'll just, it'll just eat a lot better. So, but anyway, little um, flourless chocolate cake on the barbecue. So if you want to find the recipe for this dish, visit the website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. That's magic. I thought you were going to take a bite there. I did too, and then I thought, no, it's too big. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a fork. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut a piece off. I can't wait. I thought you were going to try a bit. It's not yeah. like him to resist cake. So if you want to find out about the recipe, visit the website. It'll be in the blog section. If you want to find out about any of the equipment we use in these videos, visit the team here at the barbecue shop in store. Mm. Is it good? Mm. There's never going to say it's horrible. It's cake. Uh -uh. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Look at the food in your mouth. It's mm. not right. Uh -huh. So all that's left for us to say is thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time.